Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Boris Spassky and Helmut Flega. This game was played in Munich in 1979. And where is Munich or Minhen? Munich is the city in Germany. In this game, Boris Spassky had white pieces and he started with e4. Flega played c6, d4, d5, and we have a Karo Khan defense. Knight to c3. D takes on e4, knight takes pawn, it is black to move, bishop to f5 is the most popular move in this position, attacking the knight, developing the bishop before pushing the pawn to e6. In our game we have knight to d7, bishop to c4, knight from g to f6, and now knight to g5 is a very popular move. But Spassky captured the knight on f6, and now you would think that black would capture the knight with knight. Well, that is quite a natural move. But Frege captured knight with e-pawn. The reason is he wants to play knight to b6 to attack the bishop. Knight to e2. Knight to b6 attacking the bishop. Bishop to b3. Bishop to d6. Castling comes to mind. c4 threatening c5 forking two pieces. Bishop to c7, bishop to f4, black castle kingside, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, c5 attacking the knight. And now surely black was considering knight to d5, instead black played a knight to d7. Well knight to d5 is possible, but then bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop. And this pawn structure would fire white in the endgame. So we have knight to d7, Spassky castle kingside, b6, pawn takes pawn, a takes on b6, rook to e1, placing the rook on open file, bishop to b7, developing the bishop and connecting the rooks. Knight to g3, it is black to move. Perhaps black should have considered g6, but he played what he thought would be natural move, placing the rook on the open file. But in this particular case, that wasn't a very good move. Why? We have reached the critical position of the game, it is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? In the game, Spassky sacrificed the bishop on f7. This is check. King takes bishop. Hmm. What did white have in mind? Queen to b3? Queen to h5? What do you think? Queen to h5. Game. This is check. Well, if king goes to f8, then queen takes on h7. The problem is, the knight on d7, it has nowhere to go. Okay, so in the game, after check, Black played g6. Queen takes pawn on h7, check. King to f8. <laughs> Unbelievable. h4. And black resigned, believe it or not. Again, knight on d7 is a problem, has nowhere to go. One possible line, not the only line. This is just one possible line. Queen to d6 h5, perhaps f5, pawn takes pawn, queen to f6, knight takes on f5, if queen takes knight then checkmate, and uh, perhaps if rook to e6, then check, and after king to e8, pawn is promoted to queen and we can stop here. And let's go back to this critical position. 
Have you seen the killer move? If you have, congratulations. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.